Hello, peoples. I'm back. I'm covering Spidey. And I got my brother with me because, well, we decided to do this game together like we did the first time we got the game. Hi. I'm, uh, kind of mooching off my brother. No, actually, I kind of asked him to do this for me. Because when we first got this game, we decided to split the game in half. And now uh, we're doing it again. I'll explain how that works. Yeah. God, I missed that intro. <laughs> and there's the new producer's Beanox. Yeah, this was their first game. So we're playing Shattered Dimensions. I need to clear up that memory unit. <laughs> this yeah. is basically a game where four different Spider-Men from around the Marvel mythos come together via bullhead. You'll see what I'm talking about here in a second. Now watch me have a complete brain fart with the menu, and I completely forgot that the tutorial starts off with the opening cutscene, so I went here and recorded the cutscene separately. <laughs> uh -huh. I could have told you that it started with the cutscene. I'm sorry, I don't play the tutorial all the time. I do, because I'm sad. <laughs> so basically, Stan! Yeah, Stanley comes. <laughs> The, the, the so uh, the basic concept of this game. I'm just gonna s talk about the story while the cutscene's going on. Mysterio went to steal this stone tablet. Tablet of order. And yeah, chaos. and Spidey accidentally breaks it, sending pieces across different dimensions. Um, Madam Web comes by and tells him, "You done goofed." <laughs> Neil Patrick Harris. He voiced Spidey in that MTV, what was it called, the new animated series? Yeah. That only lasted one season and for some reason is really hated on. I don't know. Personally, that's probably my second favorite Spidey. Well, I wouldn't say cartoon, but you know what I mean. It's cell shaded. It's computer generated. But. No, when the when the pieces get sent across different dimensions, she encounters three other Spider-Man, Ultimate Spider-Man, which many of you should be familiar with, which is like an alternate reality of amazing. Then you have Spider-Man Noir, which is basically what if Spider-Man took place in the 1930s during the Great Depression and the mob era. And then... I don't know if I want to consider 2099 another dimension, because technically he's been proven canon to be the future of the Amazing Universe. With a really cool costume. So, I'm guessing it's three dimensions, but one of the dimensions is split into present and future something. And he's the only one that's not a Peter Parker, he's Miguel O'Hara. I'll get in... I'll get more into each of the Spideys when we get to their respective first levels. Because I have read... A lot of books from all four of these Spideys, so I know a lot of their backstories. I don't think I don't think I need to explain Amazing. That's the Spidey we've known for what fifty years now. Yeah, literally fifty years of this fiftieth anniversary. Yeah. <laughs> Spider Ham. Spider Ham. So shut up, Simpsons fanboys. That was not an original joke. Please tell me you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I know. Yeah, a lot of people thought that that's where they got Spider-Ham from. No, Spider-Ham's been around before The Simpsons even started. He was like, what, 80s? Yeah. 70s? Something like I forgot that. when he started. You know, I was going to say this before. If you looked at Mysterious Face, you could see that he actually had this creepy skull face in there. <laughs> that yeah. they showed well, they showed that later. It kind of reminds me of Spider-Man 2 for some reason. Oh yeah, in the Mysterio's Funhouse, when he's in that little glass... Yeah, I'll be playing Spider-Man 2 later. Yeah. I have to play Spider-Man 2. I'm kind of used <laughs> to the animated series, Madam Web, where she's that energy light thing. I don't care, I hate Madam Web. Hey, and here she... In the comics, she's kind of nice, because she's more or less just a <laughs> telepath. So this really. part, we're not touching up on any level. Watch me have fun with the hints. Whee! So I I'm, not, I'm not... I'm not... Touching, see, this is that's when I realized that the cutscenes were. So I'm not touching up on any levels today. This is basically just a tutorial. It's gonna, 
show off you know the basics and we're gonna get one segment with each spidey so here's amazing you know like I said he's the real spider-man the one we've known since 1962 1960 I thought it was 62 no it's 2012 50 years 62 uh, so he, like I said he's voiced by Neil Patrick Harris which was Spidey's voice actor in the MTV new um, animated series, which a lot of people hated. It was supposed to be based off of the original movie, like, afterward. Really, I don't think it really went anywhere. It didn't. The only thing that referenced the movies was Goblin's death, and that was only mentioned when Harry has, like, these emo issues. Yeah. So, here's the spider sense. It's basically, if you've never played this game, think of detective mode and shit on Ark the Arkham games, but much, much weaker. <laughs> much weaker. All it does is point out breakable items and it outlines enemies. Hey, look what I found. It doesn't show everything you need to know, like the detective mode is. And to bestow a different gift upon. So. And here is Two Ultimate, Ultimate Spider-Man. Now, the reason why he's wearing the black suit is because, aside from aside from Ultimate Spider-Man being younger, they're exactly the same. So they gave him the not the symbiote. I'll explain that when we get to Ultimate's first level. But to make him different from Amazing. Now, his voice actor is Josh Keaton, who played him who, in Spectacular Spider-Man. Who Spider is the voice actor of Spidey and Spectacular Spider-Man and the Marvel vs. Capcom 3 games. And he's one of my favorite, he's my favorite he, Spidey. Yeah, in my opinion, he's the best Spidey voice actor because he, he just sounds like Spidey to me. You know, some people make say he sounds way too young to play Spider-Man. But that's why he fits Ultimate so well. Yeah. Ultimate is the youngest of the four. And some people actually said it kind of he makes him he kind of sounds like a, some guy who should voice Sonic. No, I think he fits Spidey better than Sonic. So amazing showed off the wall crawling and the spider sense. Amazing basically shows off the zipping and the swinging. Now the zipping has like this porch feature where you see an arrow jump on top of something you can tap the right trigger which is the swing button to immediately zip and land on it. It's it's nice, it gets better in Amazing Spider-Man. You know I always have this really funny thing that when I'm jumping and I go over a porch point I get stuck on it and I land on it for some stupid Yeah I know, reason. that happens weird. That is funny. So now to... The only non-Peter Parker Spider-Man, Miguel O'Hara, who was voiced by... What's his name? I forgot, but he did him he, in Amazing Friends. Yeah, that incredibly cruddy 1980s yeah. show called Spider-Man and His Amazing Friends. He voiced Spider-Man in that show, and honestly, he's a lot better in this game than he was in that show. And You can tell he's aged because his voice is a lot darker. I think he does 2099 pretty well, although some people think that 2099 and the war should have had their voices switched. Yeah. Which I can agree because the guy who does Noir in this game, and I'll get to him later, does uh, 2099 in Edge of Time, and he he does uh, Miguel O'Hara a lot better than he does Noir. And then, um. Crap, I forgot his name already. Keaton does amazing in that game, so the two people who voice amazing in 2099 in this game are replaced by the other two voice actors, which doesn't make any sense in my opinion, but well, they are the they, two they, yeah, they are the two biggest voice actors, and they actually do better. Now, 2099 here, like I said, I'll explain his backstory and everything when we get to his first level, but he basically just, ex um, the combat tutorial. Really easy. Yeah, they're tall and that you can do XXX for the basic one, two, three. Hold Y for launcher. Y is the heavy attacks. And yeah, there's nothing special here. Unfortunately, you can't do any, you know, upgraded attacks. This that is you funny. Got. Yeah. I didn't mean to make him disappear. You did. I have saved him from peril and transported him to the 
I didn't mean to make him disappear. Now, like I said, this universe isn't technically a different universe because I think it's been proven to be the canon future of the Amazing Universe. Like I said, I think. I don't know if it's actually been confirmed or not, but him, uh, Noir, I mean, Noir, 2099 and Amazing have had a few crossovers in the comics, so I think and it's official. I don't remember. There's been like two. So now to the last Spidey, which is... Hold on, I'm waiting for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Dem eyes. Headlights. <laughs> I know. Say your prayers, punks. And this is Crystal <laughs> Daniel Barnes. And if any of you grew up in the '90s like the two of us did, you'll know exactly who this is. He voiced Spidey in the night early '90s Spider-Man animated series that was on Fox Kids for so many years, where he overly emoted. A where lot. honestly. That show has aged terribly. Hate me if you want to. It was the Spidey cartoon I grew up with, but I hate it now. And honestly, I think he voices Noir much better than he did Spidey in the animated series. Now, Noir is probably the most different of the Spideys, because he's stealth-based gameplay, because he is the weakest and it's of, all not three, like of all three. It's Arkham Asylum E via the stealth combat, but they're use the maps, I mean, usually there's a set way to stealth kill the people, unlike in Arkham, Arkham City and Arkham Asylum where it's just wing it, you know, there's actually kind of like a set stealth takedown pattern. Now, honestly, I think the, the spider sense is rather useless for, now it tells you to push forward to get off. It wouldn't let me. Really? I always this is me literally here. punching the controller trying to get him off. I tap forward, he didn't go. I double tap forward, he didn't go. I pressed A and B, he didn't jump off. So that was me trying to get him off the freaking ledge. Really? I could always get off really easy. He would, so could I, but that time he wouldn't get off. Now, the good thing about him is that he can actually kill from a distance. Yeah. Now, if you've read the noir comics like I have, His you web might is... understand why he can actually shoot web lines. Now, like I said, I will explain that when we get to noir's first level. Kind of like how we'll, 2099 got the spider Yeah, sense. we'll. I'll explain each of the things, because I think Amazing is the only Spider-Man that didn't get any special abilities from... Except Madam augmented Web. spider sense. That's yeah. it. Well, yeah, he got a bit of a spider sense buff. Yeah, why are you clinging to the wall here? Because I've actually had him come around the corner one time. Now, for some reason, the camera was screwing him there. He usually does that. <laughs> so, that's about it for this. Gets the fragment piece. We'll start off with amazing in the next part. And I'll have Simple something as that. more to say. <laughs>